Hey, it's Tony, Talking Car Biz. Today's video, a brand new 2022 Toyota Highlander XSE Edition. This is the uh, interior overview of this vehicle. Be sure to catch video number one when I did the exterior overview. So today we're gonna dive inside and do an overview of the features on this one. Uh, one of the things I like to do these videos for is for those of you who maybe have test driven one and then you went home to think about it and you're wondering, hey, how do I get more information? How can I learn more about it? Maybe you forgot to ask a question or maybe you just want to take a second look at one of these. This video could be helpful for that. Let me know in the comments. Hit that thumbs up if you like the video. So let's get started on the interior of the 2022 XSE. Okay, heading inside on the driver's side, let's uh, take a quick look at the driver's door. Now this does have the red and black interior, so let me know in the comments what you think. Definitely bold, for sure bold. Love the brushed aluminum door handles and the brushed aluminum trim. Nice contrast against the black door panels. We do have backlit auto up and down windows, all four. Power door locks, power mirrors. Speakers down here in the doors. Now this one does have the JBL audio system, so we're gonna pick up 11 uh, speakers. Pockets, bottle holders, and puddle lights down here in the doors. As we swing around to the interior, opening in the threshold, this one does have the LED threshold plates. So this is brushed aluminum, and then there's an LED light that backlights it. That is an extra charge on this of 299, but it could be super helpful for getting in and out, especially at night. Now the seats themselves, there are dual power, they are dual power seats with a power recliner, power lumbar support, that's two position lumbar support. The seats as you can see are the black and red soft tech fabric seats. They are ventilated, or I should say perforated, very comfortable seat. Let me know in the comments what you think about that. That's uh, really not for everybody, but I think it looks pretty cool and it's a little bit different and bold of course. Over on the dashboard here, you're going to see throughout the interior, this red contrast stitching matches the seats. And that's actually sewn in thread to give you a little bit different look. And you can kind of see it across the dashboard as well, uh, well across your center armrest. So pretty, uh, pretty unique styling with that red fabric, uh, soft tech. And then they also integrate some of this faux carbon fiber on the inside of the XSE with the brushed aluminum trim odometer uh, setting here, dimmer switch for your dash lights, automatic high beams on and off, uh, power tailgate to open that up, storage cubby here, gas doors down here and hood releases here as well, dead pedal, gas pedal, or brake pedal, gas pedal, right where you'd expect them. Steering wheel is going to be a tilt and telescoping steering wheel. It is not manual, it's that uh, kind of that vice type of uh, setup on that. So let's go ahead and jump in and check it out. Okay, so behind the wheel on the XSE, this is a leather wrap steering wheel. It is not heated. It is padded and super comfortable. Of course, a driver's side airbag, Toyota badge here. On the left-hand side, controls for your information center, which is up in the gauge cluster. Take a look at that in just a second. Bluetooth connectivity for your smartphone, voice activation, and volume for your sound system. So all fingertip controls here. And then over on this side of the steering wheel, uh, you've got controls, fingertip controls for your cruise control, dynamic radar cruise control, lane departure on and off, and then you can change your radio stations and such as well. Washer wiper controls here for front and rear washer, and they both have intermittent settings on those. Over on this side is where we find our light controls, headlight controls. We do have auto on and off for the headlights, as well as auto high beams. And then your fog light controls are right here on this stock as well. So lighting controls, wiper controls, and away you go. So let's go ahead and start it up so you can see the uh, animation, what it looks like when you wake it up in the morning. And there you go. So on the gauge clusters, a um, couple great things about these. I like the style of them. They're kind of a chronograph looking style. They're backlit white on black. Um, so you've got your tack and your temperature gauge on this side. Information center in the center here. 
and then your speedometer and your fuel gauge over on that side there. So let's take a look underneath here. Try to cover that up a little bit. So our information center's smack dab in the center. You can see there's a digital clock in the upper right hand corner, outside temperature down here, gear indicator, trip meters as well. But using these fingertip controls right here, we can also toggle through. So you can see we've got our fuel economy settings. We've got our rear seat uh, belt statuses in terms of are there people sitting back there. And then we can toggle through and take a look at other things like our fuel computer. There's a digital speedometer. Um, let me just kind of go down through here. There's your compass, sound system settings, all wheel drive so you know what mode you're in as far as our safety goes. sense. So our lane departure, pre-collision, blind spot monitoring, and rear cross traffic alert all right in the center uh, stack there. So a nice big seven inch information center on there. Turn our attention over to the uh, sound system. So this one does have the upgraded JBL audio system. So that's gonna be the premium sound system. And that includes navigation and also 11 speakers with a subwoofer and amplifier. So it's a really great sound system. So JBL, let's go ahead and, I don't wanna turn on the music, uh, primarily because YouTube will hit me with a copyright strike, but I did wanna show you some of the features. Um, again, this one does have dynamic navigation. We also have on the audio side, we've got AM, FM, XM, SXM satellite, Bluetooth, and a USB connectivity. So your SXM satellite, you get three months of their premium uh, trial subscription, no charge, and then you pay a fee after that if you wanna continue. Also, the sound system does have Apple CarPlay, Android Auto and it's Alexa compatible so you can set up all of those things right here as well The JBL audio system includes some additional speakers up here in the a pillar you can see them there that your uh, Some tweeters up there and then there's some additional speakers in the back and of course in the doors as well When we get to the tailgate, I'll show you the subwoofer. Here's another one up here as far as our heating and air conditioning system um, goes it is automatic temperature control. So front driver and front passenger, there's actually three different systems, one for up front and uh, two for up front and then one in the back seat. Um, so you can set that up to sync. We do have heated seats up front. They're not ventilated, they are heated. I mentioned earlier that the seats are perforated. Front window defrost, rear window defrost, which also heats up the outside mirrors to get the ice and snow off of them. And then we also have electronic front window de-icer. That's what that is. You can hear that air conditioning kicking on. Here's your heated seat control for the passenger side. We also have some vents here. There's four across the front, two here, and then one over there, and another one on the driver's side. Notice that carbon fiber uh, finish goes all the way across with more of the brushed aluminum trim. Red stitching up on the dash. There's a cargo package right up here soft tech fabric all the way through here and then we do have a storage cubby down here as well you can see my glasses in there there's also an access door right there if you want to run your smartphone cables up through there this does have wireless charging i'll show you that in just a minute we also have push button start of course down here two usb c's a traditional 12 volt and then a traditional usb port and then just a little storage cubby down on this side here now, as far as our transmission goes, it is leather wrapped. I'm gonna go ahead and throw it into reverse so you can see the backup camera. Um, the camera, is, is, this is not, does not have path projection, so these don't turn as you turn your steering wheel. They're stationary. And then down here we have uh, two cup holders. This is where it gets kind of interesting because here we have our our drive modes and that controls the shifting of your transmission so you've got a sport normal and an eco right now it's in normal and then I'll direct your attention up here to the gauge cluster so what you got going on here is in normal mode this bar right here is white and then when I switch to sport mode notice things turn to red and then it'll indicate sport mode and then as I go down to eco mode it turns blue so blue is eco white is normal red is sport mode so you do have a visual indicator on what mode you're in and then also we do have terrain select here so we can choose mud sand rock and dirt and push to normal to go to normal 
and it, that too has a visual indicator so I'm going to slide my camera back up here and you'll see in the gauge cluster when I switch over to mud and sand now I know what mode I'm in without having to look down and then I can push back to normal and then I can switch over to dirt and rock so we have our, our, our ride selection if you will and we also have our transmission selections right here electronic parking brake traction control on and off we have a snow mode we have a, a downhill assist mode and then we have the switch for the automatic engine start and stop as well now as far as the armrest on here again it does have that red stitching um, it doesn't pop open like you'd expect it to it actually slides back kind of like a roll top, top desk and then the first thing you see under there is the the uh, wireless charging for your smartphone so when that's turned on you just drop your phone down there if that's the type of phone you have and it will charge automatically and then underneath there's some storage co co compartments kind of an odds and ends tray and then i think you can see right here is another 12 volt charger so there's two 12 volts up from two usb c's one standard usb and the wireless charging so there's lots of ways to get juice to your to your stuff uh, in the XSE. Here's a quick look at your passenger uh, compartment from the driver's side. We've got, um, let me see if I can get a little light up there. We've got a passenger assist grip up here, standard power sliding factory moonroof with the, the sunshade or the visor. Visors are all lit up and then they also slide like that and so you can move those visors to wherever you want them to be. Take a look at our, out, our rear view mirror. It is an automatic dimming mirror and it also has home link so you can set up your garage door openers to work or your home lighting system or what have you. And then up on the top, a couple switches, safety connect. This is going to be that uh, roadside assistance program so if you need help on the road you can get that, tap that button, get help. Power moonroof uh, controls, overhead lighting controls. Uh, on and off for your dome lights, which the switch will light up the back lights as well in the back seat We've got a kid catcher mirror So that's your convex style mirror to keep an eye on the kiddos and then but above that We've got a place for you to put your sunglasses So lots of great features in here um, And again the purpose of this video is to show you all the features not go too far in depth But maybe refresh your memory from your visit to the dealership Oh, the glove box itself does have a lock on it. And of course you got your owner's manuals in there as well. So I think I got everything up front. I'm gonna go ahead and uh, jump in the back seat and see what we can find there. Here's a uh, quick look at the uh, driver's compartment from the back seat. Good visibility out of the back seat. And of course it's nice to have that sunroof up, up top, up front as well. So here in the back seat, uh, on the center console I mentioned there is automatic temperature control so the back folks can do their own deal with their heating and air conditioning um, completely separate from the front. There's some USB ports down here on the ground on the floor as well. There are pockets on the backs of both seats. I want to point out the knee room on the back of this seat here. So driver's seat, I've got this driver's seat just about all the way back and you can see how much leg room there is here. No problem to have a six footer behind a six footer in this ride, that's for sure. Uh, XSE does come with the uh, captain's chairs here in the center section. There's cup holders down here. These seats, of course, recline. They've got folding armrest on them, carrying over the black and red uh, interior. We've got uh, overhead ventilation, overhead reading lights in the back seat. Uh, passenger assist grip laundry hooks and then we have shades here as well in fact I'll show you the shades on this one over here so there's a rear shade here that you can put up latch it into place and that keeps the kiddos out of the sunshine if you've got kids in child seats you're gonna, really gonna appreciate that if you've got infants and what have you and then the doors are styled just like we saw uh, up on the uh, driver's door with the brushed aluminum handles bottle holders speakers in the doors so certainly very comfortable. These seats can slide forward. A lot of room back here. Let's go ahead and uh, check out the back, the trunk real quick and uh, wrap this up. Stop. Okay, heading into the back of the Highlander, it is a nice wide opening. Definitely gonna be able to get tall cargo in and out. 
This one does have the all-weather floor liners. That's going to be an extra charge. Uh, so you get this heavy-duty cargo liner. And then this box over here is got the front cargo mats as well. Underneath the cargo liner, there's a storage compartment here with your jack and your tool kit. Uh, it's not waterproof, so you're not going to use it for a cooler or anything like that. But it does give you some opportunity to hide stuff, get stuff out of sight, out of mind. Adds a degree of privacy as well. Now I mentioned this one does have the JBL audio system. So here's that subwoofer we talked about earlier back here. And then there's also additional speakers uh, up here in the hatch as well. One of the misses on this hatch though that I don't, one of the things I didn't, didn't like is there's no lighting back here at all. So it doesn't make for a great uh, tailgate opportunity. But here's that threshold protector. It's basically a piece of plastic that goes over the top of the bumper to protect it from scratches, dents, and dings. You can see I've got 60% of the seat folded down, 40% of the seat up. There are dual cup holders back here. There's also vents for your back seat passengers to keep them cool. Um, what's missing, two things. Number one, uh, no USB charging ports back here. So that's kind of a miss in my opinion. The other thing is a kind of a bigger deal to me. Um, and I'll show you what I mean. Now I like Toyotas, but I want to be honest and, and critical when I need to. Seats are black and red. Love the seats. If you want black and red seats, this is the way to go. However, the third row seat is all black. So they just went with the standard black soft tech fabric on the third row seat instead of carrying over and really going that extra mile, bringing the black and the red all the way to the back seat. So I don't know. You let me know in the comments. I think, uh, I think if you're going to go black and red, they should have went all the way and not uh, took the shortcut on that. But let me know in the comments what you think. It just seems one of those things that, hey, if you're going for a look and a feel, go all the way and then of course this rear tailgate is a power lift gate which can be controlled with your remote control a button up front or a touchpad there underneath the tailgate stop and go so that's the quick overview on this uh, 2021 Toyota Highlander XSE edition uh, I want to remind you I did do an exterior overview as well so I want to encourage you to kind of tune into that as well there'll be a link in the description a link at the end of the video but uh, this is the interior of a 2022 Toyota Highlander XSE if you like the video, go ahead and hit that thumbs up. If you want more videos like this one, feel free to subscribe to my channel. This is Tony Talking Carbez. Have a great day. Stop.